mubyeyi urifuza guteganyiriza umwana wawe ejo heza kana mu mashuri ya Apejerwa ariyo Lisendo Ruhango ikirezi hamwe na Emero Intwari muri Lisendo Ruhango ikirezi tubafite amashama kurikira Cardinal Art cyangwa se bijyanye n'ubutetsi ari level 1 level 3 level 4 ndetse na level 5 food and beverage services tubafite level 3 level 4 ndetse na level 5 tubafite kandi accounting cyangwa se ibarura mari level 3 level 4 ndetse na level 5 tubafite nubukanishi bwa modoka mu byiciro bikurikira auto engine technology level 3 auto transmission and control system technology level 4 automobile transmission and control system technology level 5 tubafite nubwubatsi mason level ya gatatu level ya kane ndetse na level ya gatatu tubafite tourism ubukera rugendo level ya gatatu iya kane ndetse ni ya gatatu turabibutsa ko tubafite n'ikiciro rusange tukome tukome Naho muri Emero Intwari tubafite amashami y'umwaka umwe akurikira Automotive Technology ubukanishi bwa mamodoka level ya mbere hair dressing ubwiza no gutunganya umusatsi level ya mbere tailoring ubudozi level ya mbere masonry ubwubatsi level ya mbere buraya mashuri yombi tubafite abari mu binzobere harimo nabaturuka hanze y'igihugu tubafite kandi n'amacumbi y'abakobwa ndetse naya bahungu abanyeshuri bacu bakora ingendo shuri mu gihugu ndetse no hanze ya tubaho umwanya wo kwimenyereza umwuga mu bigo bijyanye ibyo biga dukorera kandi graduation abanyeshuri basoje amasomo yabo aya mashuri aherere mu mujyi wa Ruhango hafi ya gare ko bindi bisobanuro ngando hamagara kuri 0788836219 cyangwa se 0722336618 nana duhamagara kandi kuri 0788836219 cyangwa se 0782228225 Nana dusura kuri website y'ishuri www.apejerwa.ac.rw umuri mukozwe neza utuma batugirira ikizere Hello dear student and followers uh, I'm Patrick Ishimwe trainer in Lisedo Ruhango Ikirezi in automobile transmission and control system technology uh, The module of today is called lubrication system the session you are going to do is, is description of lubrication components. Therefore, for getting a lubrication system in your engine means you have component that will help you to achieve or no that lubrication action. Therefore, uh, at the end of this session, every runner or everyone who follows us will able to describe or component that made up lubrication system, the operating principle, and how to measure or to test uh, pressure. If your pressure drop out, how you can test the pressure gauge if the, uh, the problem is caused by that problem. Yes, uh, let's start by a review of what uh, we saw our last meet. Uh, we have seen different purpose of lubrication system. Have seen that uh, it have a purpose of cleaning engine, uh, of cooling the engine, and the most of that one to lubricate the, the engine. How it cool the engine? When a hot piston caused by co compression and the strokes, the oil rich there on the pistons means the oil will dissipate that heat produced in power strokes. How it replicate as the piston move up and down means the oil is there between the cylinder wall and the piston to to make the surface not rough but to make piston easy to move up and down as well the crankshaft therefore let's start uh, on how uh, to add engine oil in your system remember that i've told you you cannot add engine oil however you want means the manufacturer instructions is the one which have to be followed when you are no need to add the oil here i mean the quantity of oil to be added uh the the types you know uh, within the different climate and the purpose of the vehicle or any machine also the oil have to be different then even remember that you have to change your engine regularly then after changing your engine oil it's the time to add new engine oil 
but also you can add oil accidentally when you get the, the level of your oil is dropped, but uh, before you get on the garage to perform or to, care, to correct that, uh, that problem. Then you have to open these filler plugs or filler necks, then you insert, uh, you, you put your oil here in the top of the engine uh, on the cylinder head cover, then your engine, uh, your engine oil will drop down here in uh, the oil pan. Means the first component we see, we get is the oil pan. The oil pan on the engine have a purpose of storing the, storing the engine oil. Means it is here at the base of our engine. When you add engine oil automatically, it will drop down here in the oil pan. When you move up on the oil pan, we will get uh, a primer filter, what we call a primer filter. Engine mostly have two, two filters, what we call primer filter, secondary filter, or main filter. The purpose of that primer filter, we will see after removing those components, it have a purpose of removing larger contaminant or larger dirties that uh, can enter in the oil. Why? The main filter or the secondary filter, which is this one, have a purpose to remove completely all impurities in the oil so that they will reach in the system out of that is. Then, after getting in the primary filter, we will need to pass in the oil, uh, oil pump. The purpose of oil pump is to generate the pressure uh, needed or required uh, to fulfill the purpose of our engine oil. Uh, oil pumps are classified mostly in three types. We have what we call rotor pump, uh, gear pump, crescent pump, or what we call uh, internal gear pump. Then, internal gear pump and the rotor pump are always fitted at the opposite side of the flywheel. You get this side is where the flywheel is, and the opposite side it is where our pump is fixed. It means the engine oil pump is always at the first piston. Then the engine oil pump, which is a rotary pump or crescent pump, is directly connected to to the crankshaft. It means this pump is driving via the crankshaft. When you rotate. Uh, your engine or you crank the engine means you will turn the flywheel. As you turn the flywheel, it is connected to, to the crankshaft. Therefore, the crankshaft also will start to, to rotate or to turn our pump. As you turn the pump, also you will deliver your oil into, into the system. Then, but on a gear pump, it have a chain, a chain which connects this crankshaft with the the, the pumps. Uh, crescent and the rotary pump are out, out uh, on the outside of the engine, while a gear pump is built inside the, uh, the oil pan. Then, the oil after reaching on the pump, also on the pump we get the relief valve. The purpose of relief valve is to regulate the pressure which is flowing to the system. When the pressure gets higher as needed or as required, the pressure relief valve will automatically open and allow that excessive oil to return into, into the oil pan. Then, you get here, there is a channel. Means the oil comes up from this pump through this channel and get here into oil filter, which is main or secondary filter. Uh, our engine oil have a design like this one. The oil will enter it here in those small holes. Then inside here there is a papers. We will get on disassembled oil filter. Yes, this is our engine oil filter. Here at this corner we have a gasket which will allow not uh, uh, prevent oil to escape out of the, the filter. Means the oil comes from the pump, then pass into 
those small holes. Inside this one, they are what we call paper element. Those paper element are those one are made in paper. Then the oil entered in on those paper allow inside the, the filter. Then after getting filtered, the, it will get out in this big hole out to the to the system. Then here at the bottom of the filter, there are what we call uh, uh, bypass valve. What does it mean is bypass valve? Normally, the oil is designed to pass into those small holes and get out in this big size. Then this, uh, that relief uh, bypass valve, it is uh, this one. Means it is fitted on the bottom of our oil filter. Then, you see, this uh, bypass valve, it locked here at the bottom. Then, when those paper get closed, or when the contaminant becomes too much, so that the oil cannot pass through those paper to the output, means the oil will get here at the bottom of the filter and push this bypass valve and get out to, to the system. But that oil is not filtered. But instead of losing all oil in our system, either Rather, we can let that oil to pass to the system out of filter it. Then, when the oil get out in this uh, main filter, it will move to this side. Here it is where the, this component, it is called pressure gauge. It is fixed on this side at the output of the filter. Means what? When the, the pressure is at normal, the lamp uh, uh, to the dashboard will no longer appear. But when the pressure reduces, you will get a lamp on the driver. We will see how to test the, that lamp. Then, after passing on this uh, test or gauge, the oil will continue to the system. Remember that the first time you, you add engine oil, it will automatically get here in the oil pan out of getting filtered. But the second time, it will pass into the oil filter and the pump and the primer filter so that it will get to perform its purpose of lubrication. Uh, after lubricating the component, it will get also, and you shut off your engine, the oil will return back to, to the oil pan. So let's uh, remove this oil pan and show you how the pump look like and how the primer filter look like and different parts that made up uh, our pumps. Yes, this is the oil pan. At the bottom of this oil pan, we have what we call a drain plug or a draining nut. This is nut, this nut, it is the one which will open when you're going to, to drop out your engine oil. Means you will unlock this nut, then stand by with a container where you will put your oil, then open the bolt and ready to put the old oil into a container. Uh, remember when you are going to drop out the engine oil, you have to open a filler cap. We will see in the next session by engine oil replacement. Then, uh, the engine oil pan have too much boards here at the, the bottom. Let's open those boards. Uh, most of boards are uh, 10 millimeter or even 12. Let's open those boards and get what is inside. Yes, uh, the board there is 10 millimeter. This one. Let's use this banner. Remember the order of opening your board so that uh, the component or the part you are opening 
will not broken and become difficult to open your your bolts. Yes, after uh, this is how to look at uh, the engine oil pan, means the oil is stored in this side. This side, it is also where there is a drain plug, so that uh, the drain plug cannot be fixed here, because you see it is a flat surface. But the, most of oil is stored here when the engine is not running. It's the reason why we need to fix this draining plug here. This is the primer filter have talking to means it is downward into this lower part of our oil pan so that when you clank the crankshaft by rotating the crankshaft this primer filter will pull up the oil from the oil pan to the to the pump this part is called pickup tube means it have two two legs one is fixed on the cylinder blocks then other part is fixed on, on the pump. Then, by moving this pump, you have to open this board and the, their board. Those boards are 12 millimeter. Then after removing those bolts, it's time to, to remove this nut which fixing the, the pump to, to the crankshaft. Uh, this one is 17 millimeter. <coughs> At the first time, uh, you need to push this spanner with a greater force because when you push, you rotate it uh, with low force, you only rotate the crankshaft and this bolt will no longer be opened. Also, this pulley, uh, you will need to use a puller when it is the first time, but this one, the lock is out of the system. It's the reason why we will need uh, to use only our fingers. This is the, the pump I'm talking to. This one look like this. It can be rotary pump or crescent bulb. But a gear pump has a different design. This side is where this crankshaft it is used to, to rotate the engine. Means you will have this side is the output, uh, I mean input. The oil will enter it in this primer filter to this pickup tube and get inside here in the pump. So let's re get what is inside here or no. This is uh, the relief valve of talking to and this is the output. Let's open this one and get what is inside and how it operates.
Yes, after removing this cover, you get here, there is uh, this part. Means, the input is this one, where the primer filter is fixed. When entered here, the oil will get in this part. As you rotate or as the crankshaft turns, means it will turn these rotor pumps. It have what we call inner rotor and outer rotor. The tips of inner rotor are not equal to the tips of outer rotor, so that the, we will get a space to trap the, the oil. The oil will get in this space as you turn. It will get between those two tips or lobes. Continue to this one, to this one, to this one. When it gets here, you get the space is reduced. Means we are getting on the output. It will back downward there and meet on this side. The oil will continue in this passage, then get out on this one. This part is fixed there on the uh, engine blocks. Then this relief valve, it have a spring here. When you try to look, it have a spring. When you see, there is a spring. Means, as the pressure increases, it will push this upward. Like this, and you get here, it get a space. Then, this excessive pressure will push this piston out. The, the relief valve is composed by uh, the piston and the spring. Then, the pressure will push this piston uh, upward, compressing the spring at the, the top. Then, as to push this upward, you get here, there is a space. Means this excessive oil will return back to, to, the, to the oil pan. This is how uh, the rotary pump works. Uh, is the same also to the crescent pump. Then, uh, but different to to the pump. So let's uh, get also uh, the parts which made up uh, the gear pump. Then let's close this pump. Uh, then after we we'll get on gear pump. Uh, the gear pump and the crescent pump, uh, all those one can be used, but most of the time crescent pump is used on commercial vehicles within the the gear pump. Uh, also mostly this rotary pump is used on low passenger passenger cars. But even you can get uh, a gear pump on a passenger cars depending on the power it have. Uh, therefore, uh, I made this one also to open this oil filter. We will need what you call oil filter orange. This oil filter orange we will put like this one and insert this cable on the oil filter by turning you will open this oil filter because you will not be able to open with your own fingers also remember that when you are going to insert new oil filter you have to add uh, some oil on the rings here so that it will get lubricated uh, most of the time we change the oil filter when, for example, you change uh, engine oil twice. But also, remember the manufacturer in instructions is the most useful. When the manufacturer in instructions says that you have to replace your engine oil filter uh, at the second time or at the third time, you have to, to get that one in mind. So let's open uh, that engine and get how uh, a, a gear pump looks like our engine here have a gear, a gear pump. You see, on this uh, side, it is not look like it. on the engine we get previously. I've told you that uh, the, crescent, uh, the crescent pump and the rotary pump are fixed on the opposite side of the flywheel, while but out on the cylinder block, but. Uh, the gear pump is in the oily, oily pan. Then 
but also at the opposite side of the flywheel. Let's open this one and get how it look like and the, the component which made up our, our gear pump. After removing all the boards, uh, you have to check. Then it is time to, to remove our oil pan. You get also this oil pan look differently from the previous oil pan. The design is depend on uh, the manufacturer's uh, design. Then, this is the gear pump I have talking to. You see it have a chain. While on the crescent pump and the rotary pump, we no longer need this chain. The pump is automatically connected to, to the crankshaft. But on the gear pump, we have a chain to connect the pump with the crankshaft. So to remove this pump, it have the bolts here and another one here. Then uh, we need also to open this bolt on the crankshaft so that we remove our pump is ready. This part, it is the primary filter on the gear pump. Uh, you see it look differently with this one on the crescent pump or a on a rotor pump. This is a primer filter on this jar pump, and this one is a primer filter on a crescent or rotary pump. The oil will be drawn in in this hole, then get filtered in this side. It will get out on this side. Then you get it called a jar pump because it have those gears. You get it have a gear. One gear is fixed while another one is removable. Means one which is turning uh, the, the other gear is fixed to, to this driving pulley. Then what the one which is removable, it is one which is driving. You have a driver and a driving. Then, as the crankshaft rotate the, the, the key or start the engine, the crankshaft also will start to rotate. As it rotate, the chain which is connecting those teeth to the crankshaft will make this to rotate. As it rotate also, you get those gears are rotating. As those gears rotating, they will take oil from one side to another side, it means to sanction side to uh, pressure side or exit side. Uh, where the oil entered from the filter, it is called sanction side. Where it gets out, it is the exit or pressure side. Here at the input or sanction side, there is low pressure, but on exit or pressure side, there is high pressure. Then, after pushing this oil, this pump we we uh, move the oil in two direction, one in this direction and another one in this direction, and they will meet in this side. You get here there is a channel, means our oil will enter in this hole, getting into this channel. Upward, this output hole is connected to the engine cylinder block. Then the the oil which gets out from this holes it will move to oil galleries. Uh, oil galleries the, is the, uh, are the passenger of engine oil in the cylinder. Then, 
We have here uh, a relief valve. This is a relief valve I'm talking to, and this is the spring which we need, uh, which we use to, to push this spring backward after the pressure release it. You see, this relief valve is connected at the same time on the, uh, I mean, on the same way at the of the output of the pump. Means as the pressure increases here on the exit side, it will push this piston upward. As it push upward, the oil will, the one, uh, it will get to two parts. One will continue here to the system, then other one will get out here on the relief valve so that it will come back where it comes from. Then after the pressure get on a, a prescribed pressure, this spring will push, sorry, will push downward this relief valve, then the action continue. Uh, this is the part which made up uh, a gear pump. Let's fix it again. This spring have to fit in this hole. Have to make sure if it is fitted correctly. And you have to push downward because it is a spring so that you can close those bolts easily. Yes, after fixing those bolts at the correct torque, you have to put it again on, uh, on the engine. After fixing this one, uh, you have to put, yes, then after fixing uh, the pump correctly within the, the chain, you have to put on this cover and remember to put this uh, pulley. Here there is uh, a space and here there is a lock. You have to be sure that this lock is equal to, to the gap we have here. Then try to push on and put on your vehicle or your own way. You see when you turn with a low force, you will only 
rotate your crankshaft. Then to fix it where you have to apply pressure on this board so that the crankshaft will not turn, but you will rotate the, uh, the board. Then after fixing that body, it is the time to, to put on our cover. You have to be sure if all boards get on their holes correctly, then you start by inserting the boards. Yes, after fixing well your oil pan, it's a time to put on again your boards. You have to follow the order of installing your boards by starting on the one side. Do not fix the boards completely by one side. Remember to arrange them so that one part will not get greater force rather than another one. But this one is only necessary on the cylinder head boards or on the wire fixing crankshaft because it can broken it can broken it down. Uh, after fixing, you have to close to tighten them. You see, I faced this side and on another side, opposite side. You will turn at the opposite side on or another side. Uh, the engine oil pan have too much boards, uh, but remember when you open this uh, oil pan, you have to make or to add silicone or even to change a seal so that the engine oil will not blow out while you start or you are running your engine. <coughs> Uh, most of times when you open engine component, you have to replace the series because the first one can be damaged. Therefore, you have to replace, but also remember to follow the manufacturer's instructions because one vehicle can be different from another one. So don't assume that you know the rules and regulations of one vehicle and think that are the same on the 
all the vehicles. It can be the same or not the same. It's the reason why you have to be familiar with manufacturer instruction. Then after fixing those bolts, uh, also have told you uh, about oil pressure, oil pressure gauge. The oil pressure gauge, the lamp, is fixed uh, to the driver's side. Here I mean on the dashboard. Means as the pressure increases or reduces it, that gauge have to indicate the, the driver. Uh, or no, uh, those electronics cars. But most cars will indicate the driver on the time of low pressure. Then let's uh, get how that low pressure gauge or a pressure gauge works. Then uh, to test our engine oil gauge, uh, we have to get this pressure gauge. I told you this pressure gauge is fixed on the engine block at the nearby the oil filter. You will need also to have these bulbs. When you perform this one on the vehicle, you will need, uh, you will use a bulb from the driver. But because you are going to perform this out of the vehicle, it's the reason why you have this bulb. Imagine that this bulb, it is on the dashboard. And this uh, pressure gauge is on the engine block. Then you have here a battery as a source of current and the wires or cables. Then uh, we have to connect first on positive terminal. Then you will need also to take this positive terminal directly to the positive terminal of a vehicle. Remember, engine block have negative uh, currents, or or engine have negative or half. Then, as it have half, also this gauge will need half or what we call negative. Means the negative. Uh, remember that as the bulb to, uh, to right up, it have to get positive and negative. You get this, I connect positive directly to the battery, but this half is, will be connected on the output of this gauge. But because we don't have a car, we need to fix this cable from the negative side to this to this gold instead of fixing it on a cylinder a cylinder wall you get our light is on Did, that means what i told you here inside of this gold uh, there is what you call a deer flag as the oil pass around this hole it will enter in this Horse. Then, by entering in this hole, it will push up the diaphragm inside this gauge. Means, by pushing this diaphragm up, it will disconnect this terminal to the ground. Means, our 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 bulb, when it haven't a, a, a ground, it will no longer eliminate. Then, imagine this metal. It is the oil which is passing around the. Uh, the, the oil gallery or the oil passage. Then, when the oil pass on this side, it will pass here and enter it in this system. When the pressure is enough, it will push the diaphragm inside here, the gauge, and will cause that ramp to, to get off. But remember that one, that ramp can get off when you make around two or one minute of uh, after starting your uh, vehicle, or when you accelerate and the and engine gets its operating temperature, that lamp will get off. But don't uh, get uh, again, don't imagine that when you start your engine and you get that oil pressure right is on, don't think that the oil is not in the engine. But wait a bit so that the engine gets its operating temperature 
and that ramp when it doesn't get off, you will need the, you will know that there is a problem. Then what happened if the oil entered here in this pressure gauge? I will insert the oil. As the oil gets inside here, the bulb automatically gets off. When the pressure also reduces it, the bulb will get on and indicate the, uh, the driver that there is something get wrong with your oil pressure. Also, as the pressure increases after, resol uh, after resolving the problem, also the pressure of oil will enter here in this gorge and cause that bulb to, to be shut off. Then, by saying that the pressure can get uh, too low or too high, what are the cause of uh, that problem? Uh, two possible causes on one another. Low pressure can be caused by low engine oil. When there is no engine oil, means also you have low pressure. Also, low pressure can be caused by a faulty of uh, this pressure gauge. When it have connected to the ground automatically, also it will indicate to you that there is a low pressure. Then, and so on. What cause high pressure? Also, engine have what you call high pressure. Engine oil, high pressure. High pressure also can be caused by the viscosity of engine oil. Uh, the broken down of engine uh, components. Also, it can be caused by a malfunction of uh, relief valve. When the relief valve is stuck, closed, it, it will cause the engine oil pressure to be built up. Uh, then, dear student, this is the end of our session. I hope everyone now can uh, describe all components that made up lubrication component. As we talked about, uh, the operating principle, the difference between the three types of pump we have seen, and how to test the engine uh, or oil pressure gauge malfi, mari, malfunction. Therefore, for any question or misunderstanding uh, or any related idea, call me on my contact number as 0788733481. Thank you for your kind attention. See you in the next session. Mubyeyi urifuza gutegenyiriza umwana wawe ejo heza kana mu mashuri ya Apejerwa ariyo Lisendo Ruhango ikirezi hamwe na Emero Intwari muri Lisendo Ruhango ikirezi tubafitiye amashama kurikira Cardinal Art cyangwa se bijyanye n'ubutetsi ari level 1 level 3 level 4 ndetse na level 5 food and beverage services tubafitiye level 3 level 4 ndetse na level 5 tubafitiye kandi accounting cyangwa se ibarura mari level 3 level 4 ndetse na level 5 tubafitiye n'ubukanishi bwa mamodo Mubyikiro bikurikira Auto Engine Technology Level 3 Auto Transmission and Control System Technology Level 4 Auto Mobile Transmission and Control System Technology Level 5 Tubafitiye nubwubatsi Mason Level ya gatatu Level ya kane ndetse na level ya gatatu Tubafitiye tourism ubukera rugendo Level ya gatatu iya kane ndetse ni ya gatatu Turabibutsa ko tubafitiye n'ikiciro rusange tukome tukome Naho muri Emero Intwari tubafitiye amashami y'umwaka umwe akurikira Automotive Technology ubukanishi bwa mamodoka level ya mbere hair dressing ubwiza no gutunganya umusatsi level ya mbere tailoring ubudozi level ya mbere masonry ubwubatsi level ya mbere buri ya mashuri yombi tubafitiye bari mu binzobere harimo nabaturuka hanze y'igihugu tubafitiye kandi namacumbi y'abakobwa ndetse naya bahungu abanyeshuri bacu bakora ingendo shuri mu gihugu ndetse no hanze ya tubaho umwanya wo kwimenyereza umwuga mu bigo bijyanye nibyo biga dukorera kandi graduation abanyeshuri basoje amasomo yabo aya mashuri aherereye mu mujyi wa Ruhango hafi ya gare ku bindi bisobanuro nkandu hamagara kuri 0788636219 cyangwa se 0722336618 nana duhamagara kandi kuri 0788636219 cyangwa se 0782228285 Nana dusura kuri website y'ishuri www.apejerwa.ac.rw umurimo ukozwe neza utumba batugirira ikizere